Hello, my name is Joel Robinson with Cobra Firing Systems, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to sync your Cobra units that are running our new 303 firmware. So first off, I want to mention that both the 18R and the 18R2 require the same process to sync, but for this video we're going to be using the 18R2. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and power on our remote and our module, and we're going to let them run through their startup process. Okay, so now we can go ahead and push and hold sync for a couple seconds on the remote, and you'll notice P will, be, will display here. There it is. You can let go of sync once P is displayed, and we're going to do the exact same process on the module. Alright, there we go. Now once P is displayed on both the remote and the module, you're going to press sync on both of them for about three seconds until the sync blinks. You'll notice that it blinked on both the remote and the module, and the module went ahead and restarted. Now, both units are synced, but you'll notice that the remote is still displaying P. All you have to do is power cycle the remote. It's going to start up normally, and the, both units will be synced, and you're ready to go. Now, there's also a quicker way to syncing if you're doing multiple modules, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. All right, so now we are ready to sync all three of these modules up to our remote. But before we do that, I just want to mention that you can easily sync all your modules up the way we did in the first method. However, if you have a lot of modules, it might be easier to use this method. That's why I want to show it to you. So we're just going to go ahead and start out like we did before, power on our remote, and once it gets through the startup, we'll put it into program mode. All right, so you go ahead and hold sync for three seconds. P will be displayed, so we'll let go. Now here's the different step. Instead of turning on your module and then holding sync for three seconds, what you can do is you can hold sync and turn on your module and it will automatically go into program mode. So let's go ahead and continue to do that for the other two. And see now all four units are in program mode so all we have to do is hold sync on both the remote and the module for a couple seconds until you see the sync LED flash and you can let go. You'll notice the module restarted. The remote did not so you can easily just move on to the next module and again to the next module. And once you're finished syncing all of your units, you can go ahead and power cycle your remote, and all three units are now synced to this one remote. Just a little quick tip, if you're attempting to sync your module and your remote, and you hold the module sync down for too long, instead of restarting like it normally would, it'll go back into program mode. I'll demonstrate briefly. So if you keep holding sync, you'll notice it'll go back into program mode. And that's just because you continue to hold sync. What you're going to want to do is, when you hold sync for three seconds, it displays the address, you let go, it'll start up normally. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to sync up your audio box to your remote. So what you're going to do is power on your remote, and you're going to also power on the audio box. Now once the remote goes through the startup, we'll put it back into program mode, just like we did the last two times. Just hold sync for a couple seconds. Alright, so the remote's ready. And now we're going to hold sync on the audio box as well. You hold sync down for three seconds. This LED will blink once, and then the LED will stay solid. So you're going to go ahead and hold it. You'll notice it blinks, so we'll let go. Now both are in program mode, so we can hold sync down on both the audio box and the remote for about three seconds. Both sync LEDs blinked, and all you have to do is power cycle your remote, and both will be synced together. And you'll notice right here the remote displays one, indicating they're synced, also the sync LEDs are blinking.